Perl tutorial part 14 hashes now hashes are similar to arrays being that they are something that we can hold a lot of data inside the difference being that we cannot reference the data in a hash by index number as we can arrays to create a hash we use the percentage sign and then the name of our hash now I've just created an empty hash now to populate our hash with um, data we'll create the name of our hash we we'll use um, the dollar sign as we did with arrays for each item now we don't use the square bra brackets instead we use the curly brackets for the name we call it a key and then the value of our item so instead of John being data item 0 or data item 1 it's actually the data item called name so it's easy to see what our value is associated with but looping through hashes can be a little bit harder than looping through arrays so let's create another item age 25 city London if we would like to print out our hash we do it like so curly brackets square brackets Okay, City, London, name, John, age 25. Now, as you can see, the items here are out of order than what we put them in. Name, John, we put in first, then the age, 25. The hash will store it in its own way to utilize memory. Because we're not accessing each item with an index number, so it's name John is not really item zero so it's actually item name and then we can fetch John now if we want to print out a single item from our hash we do it like this we use the dollar sign prefix as we did with array items but instead of using the, the square brackets and, and putting in a number which item we use the curly brackets and then we want to print out say the city and our curly bracket and let's put a new line so we're going to print out hash city which is going to print out London so let's run this okay so we get London your keys and values can have more than one word so this key could be called say first name and then but if it is going to have more than one word it must have quotation marks and for a string so if we had to print out our first name also it would have to be in quotation marks here so I should print out John John if our city had two words for example New York 
then we would have to have that in quotation marks. So print city will now print out New York. New York. Okay, I'll just put this back to London. Now, carrying on, I'd like to show another method for creating a hash. Now, you don't actually have to create the hash first and then populate it with items. You can just create a hash and well and populate it with items at the same time without explicitly creating it first. So here's another example of how you can create a hash. So name John age 25 city London and we don't need the last comma at the end so if we're going to print out Hash age we get twenty five. Okay, one final way of creating a hash is to use the quote QW. Now to create a hash, it can be as simple as name, John, age, 25, city, London. And then we can print out our name. And we get John. Now, something very important here is the way of, this way of doing it is only good if each of the keys and values is one word so or number, so it can't be a string. If we were to put John Smith, then it would only put print out John. So that's the first tutorial on hashes.